Mainstream media might be finally getting it. The real trade is not AI or data centers. It is indeed energy. Last night, NVIDIA reported one of the best earnings reports Wall Street has ever seen in technology history. With quarterly revenue of $26 billion up 18% sequentially and 262% year over year, the company is making money hand over fist. And as I'm sure many people know, a lot of that money is not coming from selling GPUs or graphic cards. Instead, it is coming from data centers. The desire for artificial intelligence is leading some of the biggest companies and corporations in North America to invest rapidly in computational hardware to train their data sets and their models. And as it turns out, NVIDIA currently has a monopoly in the high processing business, with even though the company not manufacturing them in-house, the company is still the leader in high-performance compute. And this is clearly getting translated over the past 12 months in record-breaking profit margins and top-line revenue growth for the company's data center business, with growth not expected to slow down anytime soon. As a matter of fact, the company is making so much money right now that its gross profit grew faster quarter over quarter than its actual top-line revenue. Not to mention the fact that Jensen Huang believes that the company is not going to be able to meet the demand that is actually coming from the market, despite all the growth they're witnessing in capacity and manufacturing. However, one very important aspect that many technologists tend to overlook with this AI boom and this AI hype around NVIDIA is the demand for energy to power these high-performance computing applications. As it turns out and was recently disclosed, your average chat GPT command consumes around four times as much watt-hours of energy as a regular Google search. Now, for recreational purposes on the internet, this isn't a really big deal if your average high school student is using chat GPT in the classroom, for example. But if you're training these models on an exponential level and investing in them to support infrastructure on a very large scale, this becomes a real problem to tackle. And that problem is something that is very avidly mentioned by someone like Goldman Sachs in their latest market monitor report. They mention the fact that the first phase of this AI trade is going to be your actual infrastructure providers like NVIDIA, the ones that sell the chips to power the data centers. The second stage is going to be the energy infrastructure that powers those chips in the first place. Data centers need to be up and running 100% of the time, and if you have an outage from the grid, it is going to be an extremely costly result for the company. The third phase is enable the revenues using AI, such as self-driving cars or even robotics applications in hospitals or in factories, whereas the fourth phase is even more enabled productivity through your applications such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, and reinforcement learning. As a matter of fact, electricity demand from data centers is expected to double from now until 20. 26, which is faster growth than we even saw for electric vehicles since 2012, compounded annually. This is being driven not just by only data centers for capacity, but also the cryptocurrency boom we're witnessing, where all these technologies are going to trade on the blockchain, which themselves need a lot of mining and validation to ensure the stability of the network. And as it turns out, over the past 12 years, there's actually been a significant decline in the investments for energy infrastructure to power anything like data centers, whereas investment in technology, as we can see, has only gone up. And now with the advent of electric cars and more electrification, alongside 
this new demand for AI-based solutions, the chances of us seeing a bottleneck in energy supply is very significant. And as a result, capital expenditures are going to have to pivot accordingly. Whether it be batteries, transmission upgrades, or solar and wind resources, or even hydrogen fuel cells, there is a lot to play in the market for AI when it comes to the second phase of the cycle. Infrastructure is often overlooked, and that needs to be something we invest in accordingly over the next few years, following what we are seeing already with NVIDIA. Brazil, folks, that is just my take on the situation. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.